This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to work with Parallels DAS virtual machines. On the virtual machines menu, you can see all VMs currently running within your Parallels DAS service. In this case, we've configured a minimum pool size of four. These VMs can be seen with an in pool status. There's also a VM marked as in use, and underneath the type column, you can see that it says application. This indicates that the user whose login name appears in the username column is accessing one or more published applications that are being delivered from that virtual machine. If we navigate to what the user sees, you can see that they are accessing two published applications from their user portal. This relates to the VM we've just seen. So both applications are being published from a single VM. Now, if the same authenticated user launches a published desktop, when we navigate back to the virtual machines admin menu, we can see that a new VM is being personalized from one of the VMs waiting in the pool. This VM is labeled with desktop in the type column. Also, what is happening is that because we've stipulated a minimum pool size of four, one VM is being personalized for a user, another VM is being created from the golden image in order to maintain that pool size. If we navigate back to the desktop the user has launched and wait for it to provision, then switch back to the virtual machine menu, we can see that this VM now also says in use. We can also see that once the new VM is running and available in the pool, it changes its status to in pool, returning the number of VMs in the pool to four. If we go back to the desktop and sign out, we can see in the virtual machines menu that the VM is automatically being deleted. This is because the VMs in Parallels DAS are non-persistent. To ensure user files and settings persist between logins, take a look at the user management video, which forms part of this series. And this concludes the video on how to work with virtual machines in Parallels DAS. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the TechBytes series.